Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another February reading for you. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know, the take what resonates and leave the rest. Some of it may resonate, the other parts may not. It is what it is, right? I have a really hard time keeping things in my hands today. New beginnings. Doesn't get much better than that now, does it? Starting at zero, starting fresh. This is the fool. It's about having faith, taking a risk to start over. So yeah, it looks like you guys are headed in a new direction. It's like the world is under your feet. You're on top of the world. Right? You're on top of the world. The world has so much to offer. You're heading in a new direction, Gemini. You are. What else do we got for Gemini? One more card. Playfulness. Beautiful. It's about letting your, your inner child come out. It's coming back to a time of playfulness. Think about when you were 18, how playful you were. Bring that shit back. Okay? Bring it back. It's time to begin again. It's time to start over. You know, let your inner child come out at this time. Beautiful. So maybe, you know, you're feeling very playful. Other people are seeing you as playful. There could be a lot of flirting going on. Um, you know, really, really on top. You know, she's on top and she's on top. It's like being on top of the world. Happy, joyful, playful, wonderful. Bringing the happiness back, right? I mean, that's what's going on. Being a free spirit. Letting go of the baggage. Just bringing back that old you, you know? That old playful you is coming back. What else do we got for Gemini for February? You know, I focus on love, but we'll see whatever comes up. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles reverse. You guys may be letting go of an unrealistic situation, right? No longer investing in it. Maybe you realize you've wasted some time and you're just going to let it drop. It's been dissatisfying. You didn't get what you wanted. The best thing to do is to let it go. Yeah. It's like you're finding the confidence. It's like you want to be recognized for who you are. You're a leader. And you know it, right? You know it. And other people are probably, they probably are recognizing you. They're probably seeing that you are a leader. They're probably seeing your newfound spirit, right? Wow. It looks as though you guys have really evolved. You have. You have really evolved. You've come right into it with this temperance card. You're, and this is a finding peace and harmony and balance you know within yourself it's like you've come to peace with an unrealistic situation and now you have found your confidence to progress in a new direction with faith it's like you're ready to take risks it's like you've given up on something that was terrible and now it's like you're headed towards wish fulfillment and you're proud it's like you're proud of your accomplishments it's like you have a new mindset now right it's like you're not even the same person anymore. You've evolved. You've changed. 
It's like you've been through some sort of change. You've done some sort of healing of some sort. And you're no longer investing in something. And, and you are being recognized for your new spirit, right? Your new spirit is shining. It really is. People can see it. They can see it. And I think that you do have a lot to be proud of. You do. You do have a lot to be proud of because you have made some serious compromises and you've made changes in your life that everybody can see, put it that way. Everybody can see that you, you know, are not even the same person that you used to be. I mean, it's clear. It's really clear. Um, it's like you guys have, instead of fighting the opposition... You know, it's like you've, you've found a way to use it to your advantage, right? Yeah, you guys are walking away from something that was unrealistic. It's just leaving it behind. It's like, I'm not going to let this hold me back anymore. I'm not even going to focus on it anymore. I'm only going to focus on the future. Whew. And it, it feels like... Um, You know, the time is ripe. The time is ripe for you to receive some sort of abundance because you've done a lot of work. You've, you've really come back down. You're really grounded. You're seeing things clearly. Um, you're finding your own abundance. Uh, you've persevered through something. You've really persevered through something difficult. And it's like all of a sudden you're really... A, there's a, just a, there's a, there's a... I can't think of the word... Um, a lot of abundance here, you know, a, a huge amount of abundance within you. It's like, you know that you are the shit and, and you're proud of who you are. You know, you're proud of who you are. It's like, you know what you bring to the table, right? You know what you bring to the table and you're not going to accept anything less than a fucking warrior, you know, and I believe that you probably do have a warrior here. <laughs> you probably got a warrior who sees your worth. Okay, just saying, you may have a hero coming in to save the day. I mean, that could certainly be the case. This may be, you know, exactly the right time. This is a card of divine timing. And then we have all this fruit that is ready to be picked. So you may have somebody coming in, I'm not kidding, to to pick you right up. You know, they think that, you know, this is their wish fulfillment. If you see what he's looking at, they might, they might think that, you know, you are the shit. You think that you're the shit. That's the air. That's the aura. That's the energy. That's the vibration that you're putting out and somebody else sees it too. So be, be, be careful. I mean, maybe that's what you want. I mean, I feel like you got a warrior here that, that really sees that you are the shit. So just saying, and they're they're coming in. This person has is coming in with something some this is a this is like a taking action in regards to love. You know, they may they may be thinking that, you know, they're just going to uh sweep you off your feet and play with you, but then, you know, it it turns into something more. You know, it turns it starts out as playfulness. You know, maybe they think they're gonna play with you and all of a sudden it's like, damn, where have you been all my life? So, you know, it feels to me like you guys have this new offer coming in that you probably saw coming. It's it's like you probably knew this was gonna happen. This may seem almost like deja vu. Maybe you maybe you, you're like, damn, I knew this was gonna happen, but I didn't really expect it. You know what I mean? It's like I saw this coming but I wasn't sure if it was real. Well here it is. Here it is. We have a we have a real offer of love coming in for somebody who has found their worth uh, stood up for themselves and stopped investing in something that wasn't growing. It's like somebody is, because somebody has found the confidence to progress forward with faith, it's like, and be proud of their accomplishments. And because there's so much positive energy here, it's like you've sent out that vibration that you're ready to be picked, that you're ready for this happiness, you're ready for love. And here it is. That's what it looks like to me. It's like you've sent out that message to the universe that you're ready. 
and the and the universe heard, and now they're bringing in this this hero, whatever you want to call it. And you may be like, this is this isn't, you know, this is, you know, this is divinely timed. But you might be in shock over it because I just feel like an element of shock. Um, yeah. You may feel you may feel like <laughs> you have doubt. You know, you might doubt this. You may feel like this person makes you feel weak. You may feel like you're not good enough. You may feel like, you know, you don't want to give your power away to this person. But I really feel like this person going to make you feel weak in the knees, unfortunately. I don't think you're going to, you may not have the strength to, to, uh, tell this person no, <laughs> you know, because this person has been brought into your life at this time. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It's divinely timed. Okay. It's timed. It's like, now you got this renewal, this, this, this period of renewal that you have gone through. You've sent out this, you know, think about pheromones. That's the best way to explain it, where your pheromones are on high and some, it's like the universe is, is bringing you this beast to uh, sweep you off your feet and it's going to make you feel weak. I think it's going to make you feel weak in the knees and I think that this is definitely something that you have called in. It is something that you have called in it's because if you think about the Ace of Pentacles, that's manifestation. That's, that's some, this is something that you have manifested through silence, you know. You have, you have, you've manifested an offer from this person, whoever this person is, this is somebody that is very strong. Oh, God. Take a look at this person. You got somebody. If you are the female, this is, and this is, if you are the male, this is you. This is you that is a very strong, capable male that is, pro you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn if you are the male. You could be dealing with anybody else too. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo. It doesn't matter. You have Sagittarius. We have anybody. It doesn't really matter. If you are the male here, you are very capable of finding wish fulfillment with this woman who is ready. You're dealing, if you are the male watching this, you have a woman here that is very abundant in her own right. If you are the woman, this is you. This is a very abundant woman with the biggest opportunity you ever seen. Okay? This is a huge opportunity. And somebody absolutely sees it. It is a big opportunity. And it, do, it does lead to victory and success with the Six of Wands. It does. But it is after somebody walks away from an unrealistic situation. So if you, those of you that are watching this and you are holding on to an unrealistic, dissatisfying situation, this isn't going to happen until you put on your walking shoes and turn your back on that situation. That is the first step. The, uh, that is the first step is following your intuition and progressing forward. You have to find the confidence to get ready to call in your true soulmate. If you, if you, if you stay invested in a situation, there's no growth. Well, this reading isn't for you. Then you're weak. Anyway, you have to find the strength to walk away from things that don't grow. Okay. To get your wish fulfillment. So some of you are going to find wish fulfillment that you did not expect. You did not expect it. All of a sudden there's this offer of love coming in. It, there's, it's like all of a sudden there's feelings and you, you know, it, maybe it was just playful. It started out as playfulness and now you got this fresh new beginning here with somebody. And you may be like, damn, this is distracting. You may feel like... Uh, this, whoever this person is that you're dealing with is a player. You may feel like that. You may feel like um, you're scared. You may feel like you don't want to start anything. Maybe that wasn't your intention. Maybe you didn't intend on starting anything stable and solid. But maybe you just thought you wanted to be single. And all of a sudden it's like, shit. Little Miss Independent is 
no longer, no more. You know, it's like you thought you were just wanted to be on your own. You're better off on your own. You don't want, you don't want anything, you know, you don't want to build anything with anybody right now. You're quite happy. You're good. And you've been working on your abundance and you're feeling great. And now you got somebody that's making you feel weak in the knees, making you feel like, you know, damn, where did you come from? <laughs> They came from behind the scenes, right? They did. They, they did. Now we have this uh, fear that needs to be faced. You know, can you be tamed? <laughs> you know, can you be tamed? Maybe you. Maybe you didn't want attachment. Maybe you didn't. You didn't want to see the truth. Maybe you didn't want to be tied down. And now you got this new opportunity for love, and now you got to face your fears about commitment, whatever that is. Um, now, this is typically something is not their secrets here. There's something, something is not as it seems. I mean, with the moon and the high priestess both together, you may, you may, <laughs> yeah. So what I feel like this is, is you may have thought that this wasn't going to lead to anywhere and all of a sudden, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> you may want to turn it down. You may, 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 you may want to turn it down. You may be like, you know what? Maybe you thought it was just going to be sex, and it turns out to be not just sex. Just saying. It turns out to be love. It turns out to fall in love. I mean, you could be dealing with somebody that is a boss, somebody that is very dominant, somebody that is very wise, somebody that is very strong, and they know exactly what they want. So I really feel like you're going to get an offer. You're going to you might even fall in love unexpectedly. It starts out as playfulness, maybe it starts out as sexual and you're happy. You're happy where you're at. You're not looking for anything, any kind of commitment. You're abundant with who you are. You've done a lot of changing, you, you, you're, you're evolving, you're going through some sort of spiritual awakening, you're just harnessing your inner power, you know, you're, you're going through something big here. It's like a transformation, a transition in your life, and you're, you're ripe for the picking, and all of a sudden somebody decides that, I, I, I want more than just this, I want this. You're dealing with a boss, it looks like. Somebody that wants to take charge of, of a situation. Somebody that is definitely a warrior and will not, when they want something, they will not give up. They, With the emperor over that nine of wands, it's like, I want what I want and this is what I want. So it's like, I, I, I want to come together with you. And you may be like, shit, I don't think I do. <laughs> you know, you might be refusing to see it. You might because, you know, who knows? Maybe you don't want it. Maybe you don't want it. Maybe you'd rather be alone. You know, maybe you're just like, mm, I'm not sure I want this opportunity. Maybe you're not seeing it as a valid opportunity for love. Or maybe you didn't think it was going to turn into love. You know, you just didn't think that. It never crossed your mind. Because you, you know, you were just looking for something to, you know, help you get over some sort of pain or something. You know, so you weren't thinking, you know, that this was going to be love. You know, and now we got something unseen that turns into love. What the hell is this? It turns into commitment, something long term. So, 
you know, I feel like you were probably trying to heal some sort of past hurts. You're getting over some past hurts. You are maybe, you know, being playful for, with people. You may be flirting. You may be going out on dates or whatever and taking risks because the fool takes risks. You know, you're, you're on top of the world. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're doing great. You know, um... And then you, you end up uh, <laughs> unexpectedly being pursued by somebody that wants more than you wanted in the beginning, you know? And I think that, oh God, what's the overall outcome here? What's the overall outcome here? Starting at zero, starting fresh. Starts with being playful. Get your ass in trouble. Um, the overall outcome. Maybe pushing this person away. Maybe saying, nope, I'm not interested. It may be, you know, may end in heartache. It may. I mean, it may end in heartache. It may end in you hurting the other person or them hurting you. Because you're still, you're still not completely healed over this pain from the past. Okay? Not completely healed with the strength reversed over something that really hurt you in the past. So it's like, you may, you may communicate that you don't want this stability. You don't want this commitment because you got this fear of change right you're indecisive it's like you know you didn't plan on falling in love maybe you're trying to protect yourself right because you might have been dealing with somebody that didn't love you can't cups reverse somebody that couldn't open their heart somebody that didn't love you so I, there's fear here there is fear there's fear of falling in love. There's fear of letting anybody in. So the overall outcome is you may you may try to reject this person because you're trying to protect yourself. So son of a bitch, it looks to me like we have somebody here that is interested in you and they think that you're it. You 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 may you know get yourself into a playful situation and they fall in love and then now you got to reject them because it wasn't what you were looking for but um damn yeah it's like conflict back and forth back and forth back and forth it's like you don't know what the hell you want Yeah. So it looks like you have multiple options here. You do. You have multiple options here and you have to make a choice. Do you want to stop playing games? Are you ready to make a choice? Are you ready to move forward and change your life? Are you ready to be honest with yourself about whoever is blocking you from happiness? Are you ready to let your guard down and let somebody love you? It's like that song, Desperado. I don't know where, I haven't heard that song in years. It just came to my mind. I haven't. You've got to let somebody love you. You don't always got to push everybody away. Now with the world card, this is about closing out a chapter in your life. And it's about not staying where you've been. It's about changing your mentality. It's about changing your life. This is an opportunity to literally travel to a new destination 
that could lead to success. But you're going to have to stop playing mind games, mind games with yourself and and let go of the past hurt and the past pain. Stop protecting yourself just because this other asshole couldn't love you, didn't know how to love and used emotional blackmail as a tactic doesn't mean that you have to hide yourself and protect yourself and deny everybody because we have an opportunity to complete this cycle to complete this chapter and let somebody love you so i feel as though we have a i mean from the from the fool to the world or the world to the fool we have an opportunity to actually close one chapter of your life like finish it make it final and start over in a new direction let somebody love you you don't have to protect yourself forever It's time to let go of that emptiness. And stop delaying. Stop pushing people away. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups. Or Prince of Cups. What is this Prince of Cups? This is the Knight of Cups. This is an offer of love. That could lead to victory and success. It could. This could involve, you could end up traveling to this person or you could end up traveling with this person. This could be somebody that you met on the web. There could be a little bit of a distance. But there may not be. This could be somebody close to home as well. Whoever this person is, it is gonna need, you are going to need to find the courage to take that blindfold off and open your heart, Gemini. Oh, bastard. Oh, God. It's time to wake up. This is a rude awakening. You need to break free. This is a wake up call. You can't stay where you've been. It's time to move on. This is a blessing. Own it. Own it. This is time. It's time. It was time to move on. It is time. It's time for you to move to something stable and secure. It's time. It's time for you to finish that chapter of instability. We have a major change on the horizon. Your life is about to change as you know it. And that is no joke. For the better. And it looks like you're headed in a completely di different direction. Completely different direction than the person that kept you stuck. They're going that way and you're going this way. Towards a new beginning. 
So, it looks to me as though you have a new suitor that is coming into your life that you didn't expect to have a connection with. But the universe, we have two universe cards in the deck. They happen to be touching each other. The universe says, it's time. Right now. Good luck. Yeah, it is time. It's time. It's time for love. There's no joke. New love is coming in.